Have you ever pondered about the mysteries that lie beyond our reach in the vastness of space, specifically the enigmatic dwarf planet, Pluto? In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, Pluto, our solar system's most distant neighbor, has long been an object of fascination and intrigue. Shrouded in mystery, this icy world at the edge of our solar system has been a source of awe and wonder, a frontier unseen and unexplored. This unquenchable curiosity and the insatiable hunger for knowledge gave birth to an extraordinary mission, a mission of firsts, the New Horizons. Operated by NASA, this unmanned spaceflight mission was an ambitious endeavor, one that dared to venture where none had gone before, to the dwarf planet Pluto and its moons. The conception of New Horizons was a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. It was a journey into the unknown, a voyage of discovery, and a quest to quench our thirst for knowledge about the distant worlds in our cosmic neighborhood. The countdown to this remarkable journey began on January 19, 2006. On that day, as the engines roared to life and the spacecraft lifted off, it marked the start of a new era in space exploration. With New Horizons we were no longer mere spectators but active explorers, reaching out to the stars and beyond. This mission was not just about reaching Pluto, but about pushing the boundaries of our understanding, about challenging the limits of our technology, and about daring to dream big. It was about exploring the unseen, about unveiling the hidden, and about bringing the distant and the unreachable within our grasp. And so, on that fateful day in January, a new chapter in space exploration began. A chapter that promised to bring us closer to the enigmatic dwarf planet, to unravel its mysteries, and to reveal its secrets. With the launch of New Horizons, a new chapter in space exploration began, one that would bring us closer to the distant dwarf planet Pluto. The journey of New Horizons was not a direct one. This spacecraft, a marvel of modern technology, embarked on its mission with a sense of purpose and a thirst for knowledge, but to reach its ultimate destination Pluto, it needed a helping hand from the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. The trajectory of New Horizons was meticulously planned. It had a rendezvous with Jupiter, not for a casual visit, but for a gravity assist. You see, in the world of space exploration, gravity is more than just a force that keeps us grounded, it's a tool a slingshot that can propel spacecraft to speeds unachievable by any man-made rocket. On February 28, 2007, New Horizons approached Jupiter. As it neared the gas giant, it started to accelerate, caught in the planet's gravitational pull. But instead of getting swallowed up, it used this pull to its advantage. Like a seasoned cosmic surfer, New Horizons rode the gravitational wave gaining a massive speed boost. This gravity assist was not just about speed, it was also about direction. The gravitational pull of Jupiter helped adjust the trajectory of New Horizons, steering it towards Pluto. It was a celestial game of billiards, with planets as the balls and the spacecraft as the cue. But this wasn't a simple point and shoot. The calculations needed to pull this off were mind-boggling. A slight error could have sent New Horizons off into the abyss. But thanks to the brilliant minds at NASA, the Southwest Research Institute, and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, New Horizons hit its mark. The encounter with Jupiter was a critical milestone in the journey of New Horizons. It demonstrated the power of gravity assists, and how they can enable us to reach the far corners of our solar system. It was a testament to human ingenuity and our quest for exploration. And so, with a wave of gratitude to Jupiter, New Horizons continued on its path, faster and more determined than ever. Its sights were set on Pluto, the mysterious dwarf planet waiting at the edge of our solar system. After a long and winding journey, New Horizons was ready to encounter Pluto. July 2015 marked a significant milestone in space exploration. In this epical month, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its closest approach to Pluto. It was a moment that had been nine long years in the making since the spacecraft's launch back in January of 2006. As it hurtled through the cosmos at breakneck speed, the spacecraft was about to make history. The flyby of Pluto was not just a flyby, it was a deep dive into the unknown, a chance to cast our human gaze upon a world that until then, had been little more than a fuzzy dot in our telescopes. With this close encounter, New Horizons was able to capture detailed images and data that would forever change our understanding of this dwarf planet. The findings were nothing short of astonishing, the spacecraft's instruments revealed a complex and dynamic world. Pluto, it turns out, is not a frozen static ball of rock and ice, 
Instead, it is a world of mountains made of water ice, vast plains of nitrogen ice, and a thin but surprisingly complex atmosphere of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. The data also suggested evidence of geological activity. Yes, you heard it right. Pluto, a tiny world billions of miles from the sun, might be geologically active. This suggests that our understanding of planetary science might need some significant revisions. But perhaps the most remarkable finding was the heart. A large bright region shaped like a heart was spotted on Pluto's surface. This region named Tombaugh Regio in honor of Pluto's discoverer Clyde Tombaugh is a vast plain of nitrogen ice. Its bright surface is a stark contrast to the darker regions surrounding it, making it stand out on the images returned by New Horizons. With this flyby, New Horizons gave us an unprecedented view of Pluto, the likes of which we had never seen before. This encounter with the dwarf planet has not just rewritten the textbooks, it has also rekindled our sense of wonder, reminding us of the vast mysteries that lie beyond our home planet. The mission of New Horizons did not end with Pluto. After all, space is vast, and there's so much more to explore beyond the icy dwarf planet and its moons. The spacecraft's journey didn't halt, it was merely in transition. In fact, New Horizons went into a kind of cosmic hibernation, a standby mode, conserving energy and awaiting new commands. As December of 2014 rolled around, it was time for the next phase of the mission. New Horizons stirred from its slumber, awakening with a purpose. It sent a signal back to Earth, a cosmic all systems go, ready to continue its exploration. And continue it did. Even though it was already millions of miles away from Pluto, New Horizons wasn't done sending back valuable data. It began capturing low-resolution images of Pluto, offering us a glimpse of what lies beyond our known solar system. These images, though not as crisp as we might like, were still revolutionary, refreshing our understanding of the outermost reaches of our neighborhood in space. But the New Horizons mission wasn't just for scientists and researchers. It was an opportunity for all of humanity to gaze into the cosmos, to look beyond our tiny blue dot and see what else is out there. NASA, in its commitment to public outreach, made viewing the spacecraft's journey possible through their official website. Anyone with internet access could follow along with New Horizons, tracking its progress and witnessing history in the making. Yet NASA wasn't the only one broadcasting New Horizons' journey. The National Geographic Channel also aired the images sent back from a distance of about 7,700 miles on July 14, 2015, allowing audiences around the world to share in the excitement and wonder of space exploration. New Horizons continues its journey, moving ever further into the uncharted territories of our solar system. It's more than a spacecraft, it's a testament to human curiosity, determination, and our unending quest to understand the universe around us. And as it moves beyond Pluto we can only imagine what New Horizons it will uncover next. New Horizons is more than just a space mission. It's a beacon of human ingenuity and ambition, a testament to our insatiable thirst for knowledge and our tireless pursuit of the unknown. It's a symbol of our capacity to dream big and our ability to make those dreams come true. New Horizons holds a significant role in NASA's New Frontiers mission category. This category stands between the smaller, more frequent discovery missions and the grand, more expensive flagship program. New Horizons is the first mission of this category, representing a perfect balance of scale and cost. With a price tag of approximately $700 million, the mission includes spacecraft and vehicle development, launch vehicle, mission operations, data analysis, and training and public outreach. The spacecraft itself is a marvel of modern engineering, primarily built by the Southwest Research Institute and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Every component, every instrument packed into this compact probe is a testament to the ingenuity and expertise of these dedicated teams. At the helm of this monumental mission is Alan Stern of the Southwest Research Institute. As the principal investigator, Stern's unwavering leadership and vision have been instrumental in guiding New Horizons through its epic journey. His dedication and passion for space exploration echo in every milestone the mission achieves, every image it sends back, and every discovery it makes. New Horizons has left a lasting legacy in our pursuit of space exploration. It has given us unprecedented insights into Pluto, its moons, and the Kuiper Belt, forever changing our understanding of these distant worlds. It has pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible, challenging us to dream even bigger, to reach even further. New Horizons is a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. 
It continues to inspire us, reminding us of the mysteries that still await us in the great beyond.